constructions the 11th chapter of the syllabus let's see what is the essentiality for discussing about constructions construction the word which comes mostly when we strike with construction we strike in real life with construction of buildings construction of bridges and construction of roads what is this construction so let's see in brief about what construction means in the mathematical sense today's session is about constructions connected with the branch of mathematics Before we get into understanding construction in detail, let's get into introduction of a real life situation. Say for example, I have a bridge. This is the bridge along which I would like to construct a support as you have here the bridge has the support in either sides but it needs to have a support in the middle so my situation in case of this bridge is about identifying exactly the middle point of this bridge where I can construct a middle point so in order to find, an engineer finds that in order to build a pillar exactly in the middle, he needs to measure the midpoint of this distance AB. Such a situation in which the end of the bridge on the left is A and the end of the bridge on the right is B, which is a line segment AB at which the engineer would like to build a pillar exactly in the middle of the bridge. So here... I have the bridge problem. This purely needs the knowledge of construction. An engineer proudly uses mathematics, that is, the topic of constructions in such real life situations. How do we make the pillar supporting the bridge in the middle? Because we all know that if we have all the pillars supporting down, then the heavy vehicles passing on the top would stand with the hard concrete of the bridge or else the bridge would fall and collapse on the ground, making more damages and casualties. Therefore, an engineer while constructing this new bridge is very cautious about using constructions. So here he takes the line AB and tries to measure the midpoint, which is at this point. And then he uses the three types of pillars and then constructs A bridge out here so here is the bridge supported by the pillar exactly in the middle that's how we understand constructions but now the biggest question which comes is how could the engineer identify the middle value or exactly the middle point of this length AB is the biggest question in constructions we use this real-life problem as a base to understand the topic of constructions. So let's see how the engineer has come successfully by building the three pillars exactly at equal distances so that the bridge stands perfect. A real life situation of a bridge which uses the knowledge of constructions. Constructions to be followed briefly. A student who learns construction in a regular class session needs to have the essential instruments which are essential for building up certain things that is constructing certain things. So let's see what are the essentialities a student should possess as a stationary in order to take the topic of construction. So it is very important to note that essential instruments 
play a vital role in constructions because if you want something perfect you need to have some tools used out there so let's see what are the tools used in order to make perfect constructions just like the bridge in the previous session as an example case so let's see the essential instruments these essential instruments are also referred to as geometrical instruments geometrical instruments is what we note when we talk of essential instruments for construction which are also referred as geometrical instruments so let's see what are the essential geometrical instruments in the topic of constructions proceeded further the first thing which i need is a ruler because ruler helps me in finding the straight lines or drawing the straight lines for example when i draw a straight line randomly i may not get an exact line but if i take a ruler and then do draw a straight line then we get a perfect straight line a ruler drawn through a straight line as given here with the stick gives me exactly straight line but this is said to be perfectly straight and this is said to be not that perfect because this is randomly hand drawn and this is drawn through a straight ruler as how we understand the basic introduction of the first essential instrument which is the ruler usually a ruler has the measurements in each of its side where it starts with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 etc up to 10 up to 20 and it has subgrades divided up to 10 So there will be 10 in number which gives me millimeter. So here this makes, this length makes 1 centimeter. And each of the smaller lengths makes 1 millimeter. And the other side of the ruler has the measurements in inches. So here I have them in inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178, 178